It's kind of interesting, like, depending on where you end up with the streak, you might think a deck is really, really ridiculously good, and then it's, uh... I must have been running super hot with that deck. Hmm. Tossing spirit claws seems weird, doesn't it? Well, lucky me. There's pros and cons to attacking either. I like that thought. The thought put into that. Wasn't obvious. I similarly have to think about whether to clear that or not, and I'll choose not to. The dream is the Tunnel Trog lives and then I can coin 4-4. Four, four. Uh, coin 7-7. Seven, seven. Right, not that I can actually force four here. Um <laughs> Get those two set up so those two can trade into that, and then I can play the 7 7, I guess.
He plays Finley, which might mean he has one fewer Azure Drake than I. So he can tap, but I get the tap effect by playing Azure Drake. So maybe equivalents? Maybe equivalents. Who goes there? Meb. I'm playing this pretty defensively. He feels like he has a lot of spells in his hand. Obviously no weapons, otherwise he'd have uh, equipped them with the Buccaneers. Buckos. Elements guide me. Ouch, yes. Very ouch. So my goal is to come up with like an overwhelming board presence here. Decent chance I'd die. But I think this is my largest chance for victory. I have uh, 11. He'll probably trade that if he doesn't win. So I have 11, 14, uh, 17. I have lethal. Uh, if, if no taunt and only the 2 1 dies. Seems very unlikely. And there's also the chance that I die. Which actually strikes me as slightly likely. If uh, I don't die, it's because he was like very close, I imagine. <sighs> I wonder. Four, eleven, thirteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty four. Wow, oh my gosh, that lethal. Wow. Wow, wow, for you. I'll take your points, thanks. Ah, no longer flying Reno. Just smash you with this deck. That's a combo, but meh. Maybe I'm just a shaman pro. 
The elements, you see, they speak to me. I slowed down. I can kill his 2 2 Jade with the Jade Claws. A good draw. It allows me to curve. Next turn I have three, I could coin out Jade Lightning. Seems good. Or I could just play Lava Burst. Going for the ramp. Mm, that's good too, so next turn I'll have three, which means I can coin out the Jade Lightning. Probably coin Jade Lightning. What to do? You get the extra two too. Four, six, seven, twelve, fifteen, twenty. Now, too soon to start going face. Elements guide me. Do me trade? The trade is just too good. I know. I'm trying to. I'm so, I, it looks like I'm trying to take. Uh, I'm, it looks like I'm trying to trade against Jade. And and yes, I am. But believe me, that swipe would have been way worse if I hadn't. Uh, so I guess. I'm playing on the idea that I can out uh, control him in the late game, which seems ridiculous, but he does only have two cards left in his hand. We can do it. This is a control deck, right? Draw for him. Lucky him. I have 14, 17. He's at 28. So I just need 11.
Alright. I think that's the best setup I can do. Little Shower Floatman is actually pretty good. Second swipe. Womp womp. Womp 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 womp. Womp 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 womp. Wow. Mistake. That was a mistake. Bye, greeting. I can't lose against that guy, can I? He just like threw away heat armor. That's some BM there. Pretty good BM. What to do? The main problem with playing Aya. It's mostly death. That is a slight inconvenience. I'd like to punish him. That would be pretty sweet. <laughs> well, he drew perfectly, what can I do? He drew so perfectly he could afford to throw away 8 elf for nothing and 3 mana. You did exactly those cards. <laughs> I can actually win! Go! Uh, I mean, being able to win from this circumstance is a miracle. Though it seems like I'm, well, I can still win. I got the beast in my sights. Not quite. We're still in it.
Okay, you might have won. Well played. You scum. You win.